To get started, we need to remove the bulkhead. I'm using a grinder with a five inch cutoff wheel to cut the old hinges and free the doors. All right, Joe, you want to pull this door off? Sure. Grab that handle and pull it down a little bit so I can grab it at the top. Okay, good. Let's put it right over here on the ground. Now I'm grinding the heads off the screws that hold the brackets to the foundation. Okay, let's see if it lifts off. Okay, good. You want to take that over to the pile? Now I want to remove this header piece right here. And along the top is a piece of flashing. And I want to try to reuse that if I can. All right, good. Okay, good. This is fast setting grout, not concrete. Sets up in about 15 minutes and cured in about an hour. All right, Joe, we have everything cleaned up, and I look at your foundation, and structurally, it's in great shape. Great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the top of our foundation so when we put our grout on, the concrete on the foundation won't take all the moisture out of our grout. So, Tom, this is just regular old water? Just regular old water. I'll push the wet grout into the voids and trowel it smooth. All right, the grout is all dry and set up, so now we can mount our wood sill on top of it. We're using a wood sill on top of it because your old door had a wood sill on it. And that's a good spacer right here to bring your door up to this siding that you have right here. All right, so slide that pressure treater over to me. Now keep your end up a little bit just so we can get it in without damaging the flashing. Bring it up, bring it up. That's good. Now let me make it even on the outside of the foundation. That's good there. Now I'm going to put a couple of screws at the top to hold it tight to the house. Okay, let's do the other side now. Okay, lift that down now, Joe. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that these two boards are parallel. So I'll take a measurement at the top, and it's 48 and 3 eighths, and we want to make it 48. Make sure I'm even on the foundation here. Okay, 48 and 3 eighths on the bottom. Go out. Oh, a little bit too far, Joe. <laughs> right there, good, all right. Now we're going to screw this down to the foundation using a different screw. This is actually a masonry screw. What we're going to do is we're going to pre-drill the wood with a little larger bit. Perfect. And then we're going to drill into the masonry using this hammer drill. All right, the reason I built this little pressure treated wall right here is because your foundation was damaged at the top of the stairway and I don't want any air or space underneath it. I also have to create a flat surface at the bottom of the stairway for the bulkhead to sit on and it has to be at the same plane and angle as the sides. Now I'll cut the sides to the right length. All 
All right, Joe, here's your new bulkhead door. It's pre-prime steel, 12 gauge, nice and heavy. Comes in a couple of different pieces to allow for different size foundations. This piece right here is the frame for your doors. These side pieces right here and the piece on the bottom are called foundation plates. What we're gonna do is start with the bottom one right here and put it on your frame. All of these pieces come along, so we need to mark them to length and cut them with a grinder. Now let's put it up a little bit, Joe, on an angle, just like that. Got it? I got it. Now your door is steel, and even though it's primed, if the steel comes in contact with the pressure treated wood, you could get something that's called galvanic corrosion. So what I want to do is I want to separate the underside of the steel from the pressure treated wood. And I'm going to use a self-sticking membrane that will stick down on top of the pressure treated, separating the two. We'll protect the cut edges of the steel with metal primer and then lay the foundation plates in position. All right, I'm gonna put a nice bead of caulking under the flashing here to help waterproof this. Go all the way around. Okay, good. Now that should help if we get anything leaking behind that flashing. All right, now the tricky part. I need to slide this header underneath the flashing into the caulking. See, get it started right there. Well, I gotta go to you just a little more. Right there. Yep. Okay? Yep. Okay, now I gotta work it down a little, try to pull out this flashing at the same time. Okay, now just pull on the lead that would pull the siding out. We should be able to rock that right in there. Oh yeah, it's going nice. Oh, look at that. There. There we go. There it is, it's in there, very nice. All right, now we're just gonna put the frame on top of the foundation plates, and we're gonna use some nuts and bolts to put it together. You just wanna hand tighten these nuts and bolts. Next thing, I wanna drill a hole right through the steel, right there. Now I'm going to put a screw in there to hold it in position. All right, now we're actually going to use the old flashing right here. Now it looks like it's in pretty tough shape, but we actually have a nice thick bead of caulking in behind it. And what I want to do is I want to trim it off so it looks nicer. One thing I like about lead flashing, it's nice and soft and you can cut it with a utility knife. Okay. And then we'll run another bead of caulking on each end. Now before we finish attaching the frame to the foundation plates, we need to install the doors so we can square up the frame. Now we're gonna drop the door right on these pins. Yeah. Okay, Great. we're in? Yep, we're in. All right, let's get the other door. Okay, now all we need to do is close the doors and see if it's square. Okay. 
All right, now you see how the doors meet on the bottom? They're nice and even. Yeah. That means the doors are square. All right, now I'm gonna drill the holes just through the steel and you sink the screws. Now I want to install these rods right here. They're actually called torsion springs. And when you close the door, they'll twist, helping you open and close the door. Okay. Now the last thing I want to do is caulk all the seams around the door. All right, now I ran a bead of caulking both on the inside and the outside of the door, but I don't want to run any bead along the bottom because if any water should get in there, I want it to run out. Oh, okay. All right, Joe, I think we're all done with the doors. It's a good idea to get a coat of primer on those screw heads too. Okay. Now one more thing, in the next couple of weeks, I want you to get a good coat of Elkett paint on here. You can brush it or spray it on it, doesn't matter.